Hey guys, so we're going to be doing the colander pour again. I have listened to all the suggestions and will do my best to minimize paint waste on this one. So I'm using a round, it's actually a piece of wood. I couldn't get my hands on some canvas right now, round canvas. Uh, I have this other canvas underneath that I will catch the excess paint on and do a pour with as well. Um, and then I made my paints a lot more watery. Hopefully you can see that it's very, very watery. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try this again and see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and stick this right in the middle. And this time I covered the canvas with black just because I felt like it. Uh, we're going to be doing, I'm going for kind of more of like a sunburst. So more reds, yellows, oranges. Um, yeah, it was like a purple. And then we've got a it was like a burgundy. And then some red. Orange. Yellow. And then we're going to throw a little bit of white in. Okay. Good. I'm going to move everything out of the way here. So my canvas seems to be a little off. And move this out of the way. Cool. Of course, my roommate just came home and he has a very loud truck, so I apologize. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna just let this sit. I'm gonna let it run its own course and then we will be back. Okay, so I let this sit here for quite a while. Obviously, something's a little off kilter because it's coming off mostly on this side but in general it looks really 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 cool and the paint on here is not too thick now so I can just let it sit to dry so I'm gonna go ahead and actually somehow very very carefully move this one out of the way while trying to not mess up anything to set this one aside to dry Sure, it will continue moving. Uh, in the meantime, I mixed um, the rest of the colors together. And I'll go ahead and flip that there. Just because I'm a little worried this might not be enough paint, I'm going to add some more black. And maybe a bit of yellow over here too. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of move this around over here. I like to sometimes kind of help the paint along. I feel like it's gonna need a lot of help over here. Okay. I remember that this paint is a lot more watery than usual so I expect it to move around quite a bit more.
Jeez Louise, Marcy. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, just gonna fill in some holes here. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit more back this way, but otherwise I'm gonna leave it. I do not mind having some black negative space, and I actually think that this looks really awesome. Just kind of want to, there's kind of a hole on the corner here that I want to kind of cover up. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we'll let this one sit in here for a bit and then we're going to go in for a close up on both. Alright, so we'll do this second canvas first here. Um, I definitely like this. And I like that we got some green in there, too, somehow. Um, I'm assuming from the purple and the yellow, because purple has blue in it. Um, yeah. Definitely like this color scheme. It's a lot of fun. And we had minimal paint wastage. So here's this one. And then this is our colander pour, which has still continued to move a bit. I have this on top of some plastic. So the paint that comes off here on the sides over here like this, I can use it in, um, I can use it when it dries in like jewelry and whatnot. Overall, definitely much more successful than the last one. I do find it interesting that all this dark is coming through in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot more like a sunburst. So I hope you enjoyed this. We will be doing, well, I will be doing a lot more experiments with the colander just because it's really fun and I want to, you know, test out what different patterns I could get. You know, people have suggested plugging up the bottom holes and pouring out of the ones that are a little higher or uh, taking a screwdriver and doing different size holes and stuff. So these are all on the future experiments list. And uh, check my Instagram tomorrow. I will post the pictures of these when they are fully dry and yeah I think that's it happy new year everyone um I'll probably post another video before then but anyways in case in case you don't hear from me by then happy new year don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time